Frank Styles, Coach Greg Williams. Coach, just give me your thoughts on how many practices have you guys had so far? We've had six, and I've been very uh, pleased with uh, the uh, level of uh, competitiveness, the intensity, enthusiasm. Uh, you always expect that day one, but we've sustained it. And, um, I thought we finished our first week on Saturday with a really good practice, and then we started uh, this week, yesterday, Monday, and had, uh, after a day off, had another really strong practice. So um, very happy and, and encouraged by, by that uh, early early intensity and focus that the, that the young ladies are showing. And once again, you have uh, Jessica Custer. One more year. Uh, so last year. So what are your thoughts on just everything she's done for the program and what you expect for her? Well, this she's year. on track to be the all-time leading scorer and rebounder in Rice women's basketball history as well as second in block shots. Uh, has a chance to uh, average a double-double all four years of her career. Uh, those numbers, those career uh, totals will speak for themselves. Uh, probably uh, I'm sure be a four-time all-conference player, I think, for only the fourth time in conference USA history. Was our fifth player ever to do that. So, um, you know, if she stays healthy and does those numbers, arguably she's the greatest player to ever, ever play at Rice University for the women's basketball team. Who do you expect to help shore the load with Custer this season? Well, um, we do return four starters, Jessica being one of the four. Um, and Crystal Porter uh, had a solid sophomore year. Megan Palmer started um, as a freshman and put up solid numbers. Uh, Nikki Maduka, we switched from playing the post as a freshman to the two guard uh, for sophomore year. He was uh, chosen by the coaches along with Jessica as uh, co-defensive player of the year on the team. And Jessica was defensive player in the league. So uh, Nikki really had a great defensive year for us. So, uh, you know, we returned 93% of our rebounding, 89% of our scoring. Um, the one position that's, that's still up in the air, as it was a year ago at this time, was point guard. And that's uh, a situation where we've got three young ladies uh, competing uh, for playing time there. And uh, thus far, we, we like uh, what we've seen with them. And uh, in particular, freshman Maya Hawkins, who uh, as a junior led her Mansfield Summit team to the 4A state championship uh, and was voted MVP of the game. And uh, she, she's been exceptional early on. And uh, we hope that she uh, can continue that because uh, that's a key position, obviously, that uh, is still up in the air. What are your thoughts on the new look conference USA? Uh, confused. Um, eight new teams in a league is probably unprecedented. Um, and, uh, you know, we're playing East. We're used to playing at least half a league twice, and now we're only going to play one team twice. In our case, that's Louisiana Tech. Uh, so, you know, it's going to be one time to play teams. Uh, it's kind of like expanding your uh, non-conference schedule where you just play somebody once. Uh, I think five of the eight new teams we had never played uh, at all. So um, it's going to be a real um, learning experience. It's going to be an adjustment for the players and the coaches um, to uh, make these adjustments because um, yeah, when you're in a league with somebody guys, for as far as you uh, a long period of time, yeah, coaches don't yeah. tend to make massive changes in, in what they're doing offensively and defensively. And um, this year it's, it's going to be like, um, like I said, playing instead of 13 non-conference games, like playing 21. Well, talk, talk about the non-conference games that you really do have. Uh, another challenging schedule, blend of some regional uh, games uh, that makes sense uh, financially, but also uh, playing um, at Colorado in their tournament. They were a top 25 team last year. We don't match up with them in the first round, but if we play them, that's going to be a top 25 team. Uh, we're returning the game to Baylor after bringing Brit Brittany Griner uh, back to her hometown of Houston last year. Uh, they're going to be preseason top 15 probably in Michigan State. It's also uh, top 25 team a year ago. So those are the three marquee uh, non-conference uh, games for us. What are your thoughts on the... Um Recommendation suggestions regarding the ballot documents, white paper, and things like the Friday Sunday format for Final Four things like that have been suggested. I like that. Um, I, I think, uh, and I like the potential to. I think maybe in a year we're going to look at playing a week later uh, for the men. Um, I like a lot of the things that uh, that uh, she presented. 
Um, and I think uh, the coaches have gotten on board to um, try to um, make our game, the women's game, a little more free-flowing. Uh, you know, the negative that we did last year was we set all-time records for fewest points, lowest field goal percentage, lowest three-pointers since the NCAA took over. Uh, that, was a, that was a red flag for coaches, and uh, we're going to try to, to make our game a little less physical, um, try to create more scoring opportunities uh, for players with the basketball, not have so much hand checking and bumping, uh, try to clean up the post play uh, a little bit, and uh, the players have gotten so much stronger and, and bigger and more athletic that uh, we, need to, we need to take some of that physicality out of the game um, and protect uh, the offense a little bit because right now the defense is way ahead of the offense. Just one last question or one last statement to encourage fans to come out to tour to watch you guys play this season. <laughs> Uh, well, we hope so. We've got uh, uh, a team that plays hard. Uh, they're going to play uh, team basketball. And, and we've got arguably the, the greatest player ever to play for Rice University. Going to play in her senior year. Uh, she's a fun player to watch play. Uh, she's very graceful on the court. Uh, she's one of two players to average a double double uh, freshman, sophomore, and junior years in college. Uh, it's a rare opportunity to see a tremendous athlete. Uh, at the peak of her game, um, finish up a, a tremendous career.